pleasure to greet the Prayojana CMTI, Construction Management Training Institute, on the occasion of their third anniversary. Uh, and this is an area where CMTI has done substantially very well over the last two years. And this is an area where I would like to congratulate uh, Ashok Prem as well as uh, Sri Ram for their efforts to put up a good team for imparting training to the large number of young engineers coming out of various engineering colleges and uh, training centers as well as IITs and uh, technological institutes there where they get a practical exposure on all construction related skills to be imparted which is never taught in any case as part of a, either a four year course in engineering colleges or in the institute of technology even 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 in the IITs they start learning construction only the day they come out of the college it's very very unfortunate unlike the doctors who go for house agency for one year or you go a chartered accountant working with a senior or going to article sheet they call it or lawyers working with the seniors for two three years we don't have that in the engineering setup they start learning construction touching cement or sand or brick or even a rod or even to make a mix or whatever or to lay a, a course of masonry they all start learning only when they come out of the college so it's a sad commentary and therefore they're filling it so like a finishing school if you may use the word and uh, that's a very major area and we have a major gap in this particular one. Maybe at an earlier point of time when you used to have a five year engineering which I used to do it in 1962 to 1965 from Anna University College of Engineering, Gindi the oldest college is the 225th year of my college now. We used to have practically at the site over there to get on that brickwork and other related thing, concreting, uh, how to uh, supervise the work etc. Some amount of training was there but that's gone now no more there. 60s it was there some time period including on surveying, on carpentry related work, on bar bending related work as well as mason related work, some little plumbing exposure etc. was an important component uh, of that portion there. This is a very major gap. India brings out large number of uh, engineers every year about one and a half lakhs of civil engineers comes out from all the engineering colleges we are roughly of the order of uh, around uh, 20 lakhs of civil engineers practicing in different parts there but very necessary that you give them the right level of competence level exposure level experience level to stand at the site and say this is the way to do and this is not the way to do they don't even know that so they learn from the mason, the raj mystery, bar bending uh, foreman, how to do it because they have themselves not been taught on that. So PG uh, Prayajana CMTA is working on that area, working in close uh, link with the uh, uh, construction sector for different type of projects, residential projects, office projects, road projects, uh, airport projects. Each one has got different construction skills are required. Even the nature of construction specifications are different for each of those particular area. And uh, there is a very good work being done. It's a young organization. And this is a, I like this, India would require maybe around 100 Prayojana CMTAs in all over India is a country of subcontinental proportion. So we need this in a very large way. And all I can do is wish them all the best. And possibly the certification that they give at the end of a three months or six months training where they are giving from the base raw civil engineers coming out of college a little amount of uh, trained, skilled uh, uh, people of practical orientation there. So every site for the so for the work execution, they are getting a product with value addition coming on that. So, so from the point of view of large number of construction departments at the government level, a PWD or NEMIAS or Railways or a CPWD or a parastate law like a housing board or a development authority or a water board or a private sector company, uh, the leading ones coming under the Naratko or Kredai or leading builders dealing with uh, buildings. Again, buildings to deal with multi-story type of development, dealing with the mid-story development, all requires different type of skill levels on that. What is needed is equally important is not only civil engineering skills, you have to also give the imparting skills for the MEPF. Mechanical, electrical, plumbing, firefighting is also another major area which you have to come in over there because in the inside the building all those things are also coming over there. So CMTI over a period of time, I am happy that you got to the plumbing level now 
you got to get into the remaining component of the MEP, MEF also, because without those particular facilities inside a building over there, nothing can be functional at all. So maybe, I'm sure it's a matter of step-by-step -step approach in the first, second year, third year, you got to get into all those components that go into the building in a very large way. And uh, today we are at a construction site here, one of the finest uh, prefab factories and you are doing everything is done through uh, actual uh, uh, casting the factory yard and then you are erecting, transporting and putting in place there. So prefab construction is a different cup of tea. I am not saying pure in situ construction is one way and prefab construction is another way. You can have hybrid variety also coming a combination of both as well. So our skill set has to go also in respect of those type of construction systems as well going on that. And I had already uh, interacted uh, uh, with Ashok how in addition to the actual artisanal skills that is required which are for mason, carpenter, barbender, plumber, electrician, uh, uh, tile layer, uh, glass fixers, etc, etc. You also require large operators. In all construction sites, you have a lot of operators coming on there. You, you want to have a concrete mixer to your operator, an excavator to your operator, or uh, you are taking in terms of the large number of machinery that we use in construction, higher, higher heights, etc. How do you operate the crane operator to lift and the things for fixed? Even in conventional construction, you require that to take them all up. So a combination of that particular skill also is important. The best I have seen is in Sri Lanka, but the construction industries training center, they have have the training program for all these machine operators in a large way and in construction sector now increasingly that's going to come into your site over there so it will be the best combination will be a combination of civil construction skills in one side the services one which i call the mepf or which p you are covering there and the next one is all all the mechanical uh, machinery operational skills and they have get good good salaries and good jobs their job is not the skill for doing that work, but to operate all the machineries and all that. So I'm sure by the time you get the, the third year and the fourth year of operation, you will become a full-grown uh, training center. I had also indicated that the certificates that we give over there, we also request some accreditation. So this is an important component because that particular thing under the National Skill Development Council, you have separate councils for the construction skills as well as plumbing skills. You got to also have a coordinated approach because then you also get the right level of credibility for the type of certificates that we give. Otherwise, it's based on our own strength because you think that they are worth it for you, proof of the pudding is the eating. They are already absorbed by the construction sector, so you are happy about that. That means they are good. But, but to say they are good, also you require like a degree coming from a university, a diploma coming from a polytechnic, a certificate coming from ITI, you also require that. The second level or the third, second or the next major level where you have to work in, now you have gotten between construction at the topmost level, you are talking about the most important thing of the technical capability upgradation, what you have done for the engineers and diploma holders civil engineers with degree and diploma holders over there. But the next level is the bottom of the pyramid where you talk of all the trades coming. I said one of the trade you are doing is plumbing trade, good, very good. But you have to take care of the construction large number. There are about 65 trades which are there in the construction sector alone. So you got to start getting into that. That's a difficult cup of tea. You are going to deal with unorganized people. They are in the informal sector, illiterate people, semi-literate people. So to get on to them, you got to have a communication methodology different. You get a large number of training of trainers to show how to do each one of the work. Master mason, master carpenter, master barbender, etc., etc. To show how to do. You have to convert the know-how into show-how. How to do it inside the right way of doing and the wrong way of doing. I'm sure by the time you get into the fifth year or something like that, you will get into that area as well. So you have a combination between, yeah, if I may use the word, you have the technocrat, the technician, and finally the artisan working together so that you have a good combination of the work site to deal with all the issues of right, quality control, quality assurance, time, safety, and all those aspects coming in the construction project. India needs it very badly. India has to build double or what it has built over the last uh, so many years, if you have about 40 billion square feet, in the next 20 years we will be doing another about 60 billion square feet construction. So to do that particular thing you require all the foot soldiers to deal with that particular thing and therefore with the contribution of uh, Prayojana CMTI is very important and I wish them all the best in their endeavors.
and I'm sure they will uh, raise their bar in terms of their uh, capability so that over a period of time you'll emerge as number one in the country. Thank, thank you. Thank you.